Baby, I got the wine. that did this. He will not leave you empty handed in this marriage. He will give you another child. We should be happy that is the child and not you. Eh? So there is hope for another baby. Okay? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. After all these years, mommy. After all these years. Baby. Please, relax, okay? <laughs> you still have your life. We can always make babies. Right? Uh, but where would I replace you? You're, you're the one that matters to me, please. Look, sis. Nothing is going to happen to you, okay? Any harm coming will have to come through me first, okay? You just... Please stop crying. Right? You make me cry. Stop crying. Come on. Stop crying. You make me cry. So, Olive, I am your mother and I will not mislead you. A man will tell you all is well. He will comfort you and even show you love. But trust me, he is not happy. He will go out to find a solution to his problem. Mommy, how do you mean? You have been married for four years and nothing to show for it. Eh? It is high time you stop sitting on your hands. Your husband will definitely go out and marry another wife if you don't conceive this time. What should I do? Brace up. You have to brace up and find solution to your problem. Yes. Stop sitting on your hands. I am your mother. I gave birth to you. So you must give your husband a child. Move on. 
You don't need to sit and fold your hands like this. You need to do something. Find solution to your problem. See, if you ask me, I'll tell you it's high time you got yourself another woman. I mean, you don't try now. Or do you want to die childless? Something to worry you. Like, are you okay? Guy, I love my wife. <laughs> there you go again. I am not asking you to marry another woman. All I'm asking is for you to get yourself a baby mama or something. You know, somebody to extend your lineage. So if nothing is wrong with my wife, what do I need a baby mama for? Or another woman? You said if. And that is a big if. Which means something could be wrong and you don't even know it. The doctors checked us. <coughs> yes. Anybody can be bought for any amount. Okay. Why am I even having this conversation with you? I know for you, I mean, cheating is... It's a normal thing, but for me it's a deal breaker. So please, I don't want to have this discussion. Steve, why are you sounding like we're not men? You and I know that cheating is in our DNA as men. So why can't you do this for the right reason? It's in your own DNA, not mine. Okay? Look, I love my family. And I'm not ready to bring in any useless drama to come and destabilize it. In short, come. Let's go before you put me in trouble. Pick your stuff. Let's go. Are you chasing me from your house? Let's go. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. It's fine, though. your question. Sure. What if what if I never get pregnant? Why will you ask me that? Of course you'll get pregnant. What if I don't? What would you do? I don't know. Would you still be with me? Of course. You'll still be my wife. Yes, but would I be the only woman in your life? Why are you asking me this Answer question? Answer the question. Look. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, okay? Let's take life as it comes. What will be, will be. Come in. Are you alright? Oh, I cannot lose my husband. I would do anything just to give him a child. What's happened? about what happened. It's about what will happen if I don't give him a child. <laughs> I'm glad you're beginning to see this is with me. What do I do? Mm. Don't worry. I will take you to go and see a prophet. A powerful prophet. Once we get there, all your problems will be over. Mm. Look, tomorrow is Thursday. Can we go on Friday? When you are ready, I am ready. Let me talk to my husband. Don't tell him. You can only tell him about the trip, but don't give him details. Why? Okay? You are so naive. It's not all men that would like to hear this. And I would not like you to go against your husband's instruction. So the best you can do is not give him the full details. Okay? Okay. 
Thank you so much, Mama. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right, take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Yeah. Take care of yourself. Yeah. Take care of yourself. Yeah. I really don't feel you need to go for prayers. Everything will be fine. <sighs> Baby, I I can't just sit and fold my hands. We need to seek the face of God. I have to go for that retreat with my mother. Well, it's like you've made up your mind already. I'm doing this for us, okay? You're supposed to support me and not discourage me. I'm not discouraging you. Like, I just don't feel you need to, but since you've already made up your mind, I mean, you can go. Okay? Okay. All right. So, I'm off. Don't you think this is the right time to act? Act on what? <laughs> Come on, don't play dumb. Your wife is out of town. She'll be gone for the whole week. Don't you think you should be out there somewhere, you know, chilling with some woman, making babies? <laughs> Perhaps. You started with this again. How do you people do this? I'm trying to understand how it's possible that you would come to my house, eat my wife's food, drink my cognac, and then plot evil against me and my wife. <laughs> my wife sees you as a friend. She respects you, and she has welcomed you into our home. But then every time you see her husband, all you do is Give him advice on how he should cheat on her. Then when you see my wife, you will groan, hug her and say, Hey, our wife. Come on. How can human beings be so two-faced? <laughs> Look, Steve. I love your wife. She's nice and all that. Yeah. But you need to understand that you're my friend. And I think of you before anyone else. Well, then give me advice that will move me forward and stop talking nonsense. What are you saying? What I'm saying is drink your cognac and stop trying to sell me your, your, your rubbish sin. My sins. <laughs> so I'm now the sinner, right? <laughs> Steve, Steve. What is going on here? What's wrong with you? Come oh, on. come on, would you get out of my body? What is this? Look, look, hey! Get out of my room right now! I... I said get out of my room! Get out! Get out! So how did he go? Failed attempt. In fact, I'm even scared of what he'll do once he comes out of his room. I don't understand. What do you mean? Oga sent me out of his room without looking at me twice. Well, he was drunk. Exactly my point. He was drunk. Or maybe the person sent to get him drunk didn't get him drunk enough. If I say that he was drunk, then I'm sure he was drunk. You can say it if you failed as a woman to get him into your bed. And that would be your fault, not mine. Collins! Did you just 
call me less of a woman. Does it fit right? Get out of my house. <laughs> Olive's house. Always remember that. Now go and tell him I'm here. Go. Good morning. What do you want? Collins is here to see you. I'll be out shortly. Okay. Ella. Yeah? The stuff you did last night. Don't ever try it again. I'm sorry. It was a mistake. Please forgive me. It will stay between us. But the next time it repeats itself, I won't hesitate to tell your sister and send you out of here. I'll keep that in mind. Fine. I'll be out soon. Can you imagine that? You know, sometimes I wonder what has really gone wrong with you. Or does it mean your wife has cooked something for you to eat that you no longer think straight? How can you spit out something so juicy? Something so juicy offered to you on a platter? Eh? Collins. I said this before, but I will repeat it for the last time. Please, if you don't have any advice that will help me move forward or help my marriage, please, I don't want it again. I don't want it at all. Please, because I'm tired of your rubbish advice. Hmm. So I'm the bad person now, yeah? You cannot be tired, though. You know why? Because I know that you need to hear this often. So that whatever has gone wrong with your brain, eh, can adjust. So I take it you're not going to stop? I won't stop. Then I'm afraid you have to stop coming to my house. Yes, because I, I can't trust a friend like you. You guys are worse than enemies. Did you just say that to me? Yes. And I mean it. You stop coming to my house. <laughs> Babe, what is it? <laughs> Haven't you missed me? Because I've missed you. Babe, I've missed you, but not tonight, please. Why? I'm fasting. We can do it tomorrow. I'll be done tomorrow. So what am I supposed to do with myself? <sighs> Babe, it won't kill you. Tomorrow will not kill you, okay? Please, just be patient. Just sleep tomorrow. I hope you did not do anything with him last night. Hmm. Mommy, he wanted it so badly. I just stood my ground. Good. It's good you did that so that we don't spoil what we have started. Mommy, I feel so bad for him. I miss him. Mm. You can always cover up for that next time. He is your husband and he's not running away. I know. 
So we need to get prepared what we need for the prayer tonight. So we can change the narrative. Okay. Now, mommy, where is Ella? Ella is in your kitchen. <laughs> no one <laughs> always looking for something to put in her stomach. <laughs> what else do you expect? <laughs> I want to thank you. you. I appreciate you for who you are. Ever since somebody said it in your word, that whatever you ask in your name, that you will do it for us. That is holy. 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 That is we must pray for the man. Father, I thank you. I must shake me because there is no one to do. There is no one that is doing what you need to do. Now your father is not in charge. Come and take prayer minutes. We ask you what. What do you want to pray? Let us go to prayer minutes. Father, come and take charge. I must take charge. Come and take charge. We need a man to do it. Let's go. Take a good shake. Take a good shake. We need a man to shake. Let us go, Father. Come and do it, Lord. We must take the storm. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. We worship you. Every power that is that is holding my Father, come and take charge. Come and take control. There is no one in the name of Jesus. Father, I command that we use your that we should not. That is holding my child. Let us die. I ask you this moment. Come and take charge. Come and take charge. In the name of Jesus, Father, come and do this. Father, you don't know where to go. I said whatever. You are not going to go. That is holding my child. That is holding the fruit of my womb. Die by fire. We believe that you answer our prayers in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Father, I thank you because I know you answer this prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. The man of God said once, just once, and it has to be at midnight. How is that so difficult to understand? You and this your man of God thing is beginning to annoy me. Which one is just once? So wait, a man of God is supposed to dictate what I do now on my... On Nobody is detecting anything in your life. It's just for a few days now. Uh -uh. It's for own good. Look, you and this your man of God should better sort yourselves out and real soon. Because I'm beginning to get... And this woman of God. All this plenty English you're speaking is because they just gave you a simple instruction to follow. Simple instruction. And it's for our own good though. What is there? Something that is for our own good. Go and sleep in the parlor. Knock your head on the wall. Uh uh. Don't come and spoil my prayers for me. What is it? It's a few days. Your body is shaking. Can't even control yourself for a few days. Mommy, are you enjoying it? Yes, I am. Hey. Yeah. You like? <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Ella, you're up late. Everything okay? Yeah. I was about to ask you the same question. Mm -hmm. So, how are you? I'm fine. Ella! Get your phone! Don't forget to call the doctor! And I'll stand up! So, doctor, how is she? What is wrong with her? Well, it is expected that in her condition, she needs to take good care of herself. Her condition? What condition? She is pregnant. Ella is pregnant. Yes, of course. Now listen to me. Since you have decided to keep the secret to yourself, you have absolutely no reason being here. What are you saying? Mommy, my husband and I will not have someone who do not regard us in this house. Listen to me. This is my house and you have to leave. I said that. And 
Does Steve know about this? What does it matter? Huh? <laughs> oh, well, dear sister, Steve actually asked me to send you away. That's not true. Hmm. Yeah, it's not true. Steve, Steve can't do that. Oh, but it's true, Emanuela. You're no longer welcome here. My daughter, please, my in-law, Ogomo, I know she's wrong, but please forgive her. So all this noise, is because I have refused to tell. <laughs> Steve, I am very disappointed in you. Yes, because you have been looking for a child for God knows how long. And now God has blessed you with one. You want to send his mother out of your house? What are you talking about? You heard me. I wanted to save you the stress, but you are too eager to know the truth. So there you go. Steve right here is the father to my unborn child. What? You heard me. You are the father. What is she talking about? I am here to stay. And I go nowhere. Holy baby, I'm telling you the truth, I swear. Look, I did not do anything with your sister. Yes, she made advances at me when you traveled, but then I swear I turned it down. Do you expect me to believe that? My sister is pregnant for you. How could you do this to me? Look, babe, I swear. Look, I... Wait a minute. What are you doing in my room? And how did you get into my bed? You asked me into your bed. You told me all those sweet words I've been dying to hear. And you had your way. So I don't know why you're acting as if you've lost your memory. That's not true. I can never do that. Okay. Did you... Did you drug my food? <laughs> me? He drug your food. That's ridiculous. I did not. And I can't remember anything that happened. So I'm sure nothing happened. Oh. Well, sorry to bust your bubble. We had mad sex last night. We had it like woto woto. <laughs> Get out of 
out of my room. I said, get out. That is all I can remember. Okay, and if that is what this is, then she took advantage of me. Your sister took advantage of me. Please, baby, I'm begging you. I did not do anything with her intentionally. Okay, she drugged me. I don't, I don't know how to prove this. What I'm telling you is the truth, Don't babe. you dare lie to me, Steve. I can't handle it. It's bad enough that you're having a child with, with my younger sister. Please do not add to my pain by treating me like a fool. God forbid that I treat you like a fool, baby. God forbid. Please, I'm begging you, forgive me. Okay, don't let this destroy what we have. Okay, please. Don't let Ella come in between us. What we have? What do we have? We have absolutely nothing, Steve. You and Ella share everything now, including a child. You know what? I'm just going to pack my things and leave. We walk. Only if we have to leave this house for sure. Of course. She'll have to leave. <laughs> but mom, I fear that Steve might not get him easily. I know. But you are carrying his child. Very soon he will fall for you. Yeah. The bond has been created. It's just for us to nurture it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Mama, mm. you on the other hand, mm. you have to handle your daughter. Haven't I been doing that? Um, Haven't I? You're, you're talking as if you don't know your mother anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I know you more. <laughs> like, like mother, mother like daughter, we, we roll, roll together. <laughs> When a woman gets married, she leaves her family and goes to live with her husband. They both build their home together. Baby, this is your home. We built it together. Okay? I'm the one that brought this upon us. So I cannot let you leave. I should be the one that would leave. Okay, so please, I beg you, stay and let me leave instead. Please. Eh, Nina? Eh, listen to me now. Eh? Fine, love. Eh, fine, love. Don't leave this here. How go move? Don't go, don't go, don't go. You can't leave. This is your house. We can reason this out and sort this problem together. Mama, the atmosphere here is really bad. And I'm already confused. But I don't want to put Olive through any other stress. So please, let me just go. You can't go. You can't leave. You can't leave. We can't solve problem by running away from it. The person that should be running out from here is Ella, not you. You can't leave your house. Please. Olive, we need to talk. There's nothing to talk about. Nah, be cool, Chari. Don't go anywhere. Come here. Chari, come here. Chari. Yeah. 
Mommy, there's nothing to talk about. I don't want to have any conversation with you. There's nothing to talk about. No, leave me. Please, 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 and you should fight for him. He's having a child with Ella, mommy. But she took advantage of him. Okay. And he should not be blamed alone for what happened. Ella wants to steal your husband. And you just want to let her have him without a fight. Did he fight to keep me in his life? It's for better for us. Listen to me, Olive. Don't send your man out of his house. And please, don't leave the house either. It's just for a period of time, we'll find a way around it. Let me ask you this. What if Ella is lying? And what if your husband is not responsible for her child? Or it could be that she's saying it because she doesn't have anywhere to go and she wants to remain permanent here. Don't you think of the possibility? Eh? Me, what you want? What do you want? Carry your husband this time and take it inside. Go by her inside. Oh, you know. Ah. I thought you were on my side. Chimo. Ella, what kind of joke is this? Mom, I thought you wanted me to get Steve. So why are you betraying me like you did Olive? <laughs> Mom. Mom. Mom, are you using me? Really smart. Why you are stupid? Yes, Steve has not yet accepted you. So what makes you think that if you leave this house, you have a chance of staying here? If anyone has to leave this house, it has to be Olive. But she's not leaving either. Meaning? Shh. Meaning? She has to stay here and get frustrated. Because if she leaves now, she will return after a while. But if she makes her decision before leaving, that means her exit will be permanent. Listen to me. When you want to manipulate someone, you first of all win the person's heart. You make him or her think you are close to him or her before you strike. Olive is not a fool. It will make her act like one. So we all need to be in the same space so that the anger and hostility can grow. Don't you trust your mother? I trust you. You don't know what I <laughs> you bent on destroying your life and sadly it's not just your life you want to destroy you want to destroy mine and Olive's as well is this the actual question you're meaning to ask or would you like to rephrase it To destroy what Olive and I share. But I mean, you can try. Well, are you sure? Because where I'm standing now, it's victory song singing already. <laughs> you know what they say? When the gods want to kill a man, they first make them mad. Enjoy your few minutes of madness. I'm very sure the gods will visit you soon. Steve, what, what, what is the problem? Hmm? Is it that you're not happy I'm the one having your child? Can you not touch me? The child is a blessing. And I will have one. 
but not at the expense of destroying my family or making my wife cry. Look, Steve, you are an African man, okay? And you're entitled to more than one wife. So, what's the deal? Oh, yes, I'm an African man. But I am a one man, one woman type of man. Okay? So whatever plans you have, it will not work. Are you sure? <laughs> he kept on insisting that Ella must go. Ella has to go. But I don't want her to go. Ella must not go. And at the same time, Oliver has to stay. So I want you as his friend to see how you can convince him. Let him see the reason why the both of them have to stay. Um, look, Mama. I took part in this from the beginning because I also want my friend to have a child. But if this is going to spring up issues, I would have to wash my hands of it. Mama, mama, mama. Mm -mm. You can't do that now. You can't back out now. What I want you to do, I want you to convince your friend. Let him see reason why Ella and Oliver has to stay. I can assure you there's no problem. Okay? Convincing him is not a problem, Mama. But you have to talk to Ella here. She's here and she can hear me. She has to respect Olive while she's in the house. Because if she keeps having issues and disrespecting his wife to his face he would have to ask her to leave and at that point there will be nothing i can do do you hear him and i need honey so it's better for you to play your card well so that we don't lose out it's a man's word you should be able to make a decision and stand by it look Olive can remain as your wife, but Ella has to remain also as your baby mama. You can even make more babies with her. Look, it's high time you, you stop acting like a fool and take charge of the, of the authority and power God has given to us as men. You think this will work? Of course. Well, I do not love Ella and I don't want to have anything to do with her. And as for your talk on man's world and man power, blah, 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 let me educate you. Maybe in the medieval era, probably, the women subjected themselves to that kind of life. But not now, bro. Women this day, are independent. They do not go into marriage with aim of losing their personalities. Just wrong them once, bro. Just wrong them. I'll treat them and they will leave you. So multiple options out there to whisk them away from you. Stop your dreaming. And wake up and smell the morning coffee. <laughs> Look, unless she doesn't love you, if Olive truly loves you, like I know, trust me, she won't leave. She won't. Well, I do not need my woman to stay with me and be pained. All I know is that I have wronged her and I need to make amends. Okay? You are such a disgrace to the men's world. I can't believe you're letting your emotions control you, Steve. Come on, man. Come on.
work. No food. I'll eat our work. Mama, I'll see you later. Will you not eat something before you? No. I'm very sorry, you leave us here with this one. I'm so sorry. Are you sure you're okay? I'm really sorry. I'm so sorry. You? Uh, is everything okay? I don't understand. So you you said you know me. Yes, I do. Mrs. Oli. Hmm. Okay. Where do you know me from? Well, I was a nurse in the hospital where you were admitted when you had an accident months back. Oh, 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 yeah. But why did you refer to yourself as my culprit there? <laughs> because I'm your culprit. I witnessed something. I became part of it and it has haunted me since that day. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Just come out straight, okay? What did you witness? So how is she, doctor? Oh, um, she's stable now. But we lost the baby. And the womb? Oh, removed as agreed. Um, but it took me a lot of doubts to end that baby's life. But I paid you handsomely for it. Uh, yes, I know. But madam, can I ask you a question? Sure. Okay. She is your daughter. So why are you doing this? Concentrate on your job. You were paid for it. And save yourself from things that do not concern you. Okay? Okay. Jesus. I see you were paid to kill that innocent child in its mother's womb. But why go further to remove her womb? That's wickedness. I knew something was wrong the moment you asked us out of the theater. No, Spissy. I am a doctor and I'm your superior. Concentrate on what you're paid to do. Oh, really? And you think I will be quiet about this? What do you think would happen should she find out you removed her womb? Are you blackmailing me? Maybe. No specific. Dr. Joe. How much do you want? One million naira. Deal. Done. Send me your details. I'll do that once I leave your office. Have a good day, Mr. Joe.
I, I, I left the hospital after then. And trust me, my life has not been the same. I didn't know how to find you. I would have come earlier, but that's the truth. Do you, do you know that the woman you're accusing is my mother? I know, and you can always get a proof. Go to another hospital and run a test and you'll get the answers you seek. Hi, Doctor. Uh, please, is the result ready yet? Okay, I'll come pick it up tomorrow. Thank you. <laughs> yes, I noticed myself. Well, I'm super happy today. I just want us to eat as a family and of course sort our differences. So yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. But does that include forgiving me? <sighs> Baby, of course. You know what? I want you to go out there, get my favorite wine. We're going to have so much fun tonight. <laughs> Wait, are you for real? <laughs> of course. Yes. Okay, you know what? Get me my car key. I'm going right now. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay, but first I want to oh, have baby. a taste. Wine first. Okay. Good boy. Alright, Mama. I'm coming. Alright. So, shall we? Let's dig in. Okay. I thought we were to wait for Steve to return with the wine. Mm. The wine is for my husband and I, so let's just finish eating before he gets back, okay? I'm carrying his child. Of course I know that. I did not forget. Exactly. Ella, stop. Stop what? There is no need for the pretense, Mom. It's just us here. How do you mean? How long, Mommy? What? How long did it take you to plan all of this? Only. <laughs> At first, the brake of my car was tampered with. I had an accident. I lost my child. A few months after, I'm unable to conceive. Isn't that a bit too much? Are you accusing mom of something? No one is talking about accusations. I haven't said anything. Then come out straight. Then you should have come out straight and told me that Ella wanted my husband. Instead, you paid a doctor to kill my child and take out my womb. 
and then you took me out of town to one fake prophet. Just so that Ella could spend time with my husband. How could you take the happiness of one child and put in the hands of another without even blinking? Because the order you speak about is my biological daughter. But you are just a child that my husband picked from the dustbin barely two weeks after our marriage. He gave you everything that belongs to my daughter. For years, I watched how what rightfully belonged to my daughter was given to you. You got the best of everything. Even in death, he favored you over his own biological daughter. I had to do something. I had to take that which I know desires so much to give to my child. And that was why when she indicated interest in having your husband, I had to play my role. I had to come in there. I did everything you said. I did it. Yes, I did it. And I am not ashamed. that you know the truth I'd advise you to go to the room pack up your things and get out this is my house and I am not going anywhere look who leave <coughs> it's either you leave on your own or you leave in a body bag <coughs> Maybe I got the wine. 